Welcome to the Church Business Administration course once again here at Southeastern University. This is your instructor, Dr. Larry Aspland, coming to you as we approach the end of our class. That We see the finish line in sight, so I wanted to come by this evening and welcome you to week seven. Just kind of remind you where we are and what we're going to do this week. And, of course, how we anticipate finish strongly at the end of our course. There are two very important themes in week seven. Number one is uh, motivation versus manipulation, which is a huge theme. You know, that's a that's a, a theme that we could spend an entire course on. But I think it's important that we take some time to consider it and even process it together. And the second theme is volunteer recruitment and retention, which is which is related to the first one, quite frankly. And so, as you know, it's important that we begin to view volunteers not as free or cheap labor, but rather as the saints that we are responsible to equip for the work of the ministry. So two very important issues for us in week seven. <clears throat> week seven reading, you're going to jump back into Dr. Henby's presentation, Resourcing the Kingdom, and, and finish up with slides 14 to 21, and then three very important chapters in the great text by Kenneth Gangel, chapter 10, is unmotivating without manipulating. So there's that theme. Chapter 11 is delegating your way to survival. And then chapter 19, supervising and evaluating volunteers. Very, very important areas. So I'm so happy that we get to kind of work on them together this week. Week seven uh, discussion asks you to c consider the question, do church leaders ever fall into the temptation? of manipulation, you know, having served in church leadership in a variety of roles, I could easily answer that question. But I think it's important for us to think through what might this look like. And so we want to see, maybe in our own leadership, but even in among the leaders that we serve with, etc., you know, what, what might that look like? And that gives us, you know, a sense of what it would not look like as well. Uh, an idea of how to avoid that kind of uh, temptation. So very, very good, a very important discussion in uh, in week seven. <clears throat> Remember, you have the week seven assignment due this week, which is the church budget project. I know most of you have already been working on this very important uh, assignment. It is a, involves a hypothetical congregation of 180 in attendance with an annual giving of around $200,000. So you remember there are two parts to <clears throat> this assignment. Part one is a description of the church. Uh, you know, the demographics, and maybe even a little bit about the history, certainly anticipated ministry needs. Uh, the specific way that we use resources really needs to reflect mission more than anything else. And then part two, a budget that includes incomes and expenses, an annual budget. So um, it doesn't need to be, you know, a, a monthly budget, although an annual budget obviously can be divided into that, not necessarily equally. As all of you know, Some there, there are seasons in, in the year for the church. So I recommend you use maybe something like a Microsoft Word document for part one, possibly a table or even an Excel spreadsheet for part two. And uh, it's just a great opportunity for you to process this this issue of church budgeting, which is so enormous. So what a great chance for you to do that. Remember, week eight is coming up. That's your interview. I hope you've been thinking through who you would like to interview someone serving in church administration. Almost every staff person does. If you have the ability to access a someone on the staff who is the church administrator, that would be even better. Uh, what's what's important is that you compose questions that are based on your reading and your discussions in this class. So really, the the quality of your questions, even for a grade in this assignment, is so very, very important. You're going to conduct a one-hour interview, and then you're going to write a six- to eight-page report. And, you know, it's not necessarily a transcription, but you will certainly review of responses to your questions in the interview. Of course, evaluations are coming up. You have uh, already or you will be receiving an email link to the evaluation. You can use that link, of course, to uh, access those evaluations. They're very, very important for us here at Southeastern University. 
not only is important for us as instructors, but even the university as a whole. Uh, when it comes to online learning, it, it is even more important than it would be otherwise. In fact, you know, our accrediting agency really looks at the results of this evaluation process. So, we, you know, it's so important to us, and I, I thank you in advance for taking the time to thoughtfully do that evaluation. There's also a second link, you know, to the course evaluation in week seven that you have to click no matter what else you have done to access week eight. Week eight will open for you as a result. So thank you in advance for taking time uh, to do that. So uh, the whole issue of motivation versus manipulation is so very, very important. You know, if we had the time, we could discuss intrinsic and extrinsic motivations, etc. But it's our job to cast vision and to give folks a sense that we are here for them and that together we are serving the Lord and engaging in the mission of God in our time and place. So great, it's a great opportunity again in week seven to really have a very important learning uh, as we discuss and process these issues. So please know once again that I'm here for you as we come to the end. Uh, and let me know if you feel like you've hit a bump along the road, you've gotten behind. You know, let's talk about it. Let me help do what I can to help you for sure. I'm committed to you personally, but also to your success as a student. So God bless you, everybody. Please know that you're in my prayers every day. Just have a wonderful week seven.